the concept of digital signing so digital signature is actually to say that uh, whether i am the person who has uh, is to show that uh, the uh, the authenticity of uh, you can verify uh, the integrity of a text through a digital signature is to say that you know that the person who is interacting with you is in fact the person that you intended him to be so you have a message with you that this diagram shows uh, uh, people a and b they have a private key and a public key uh, b has his public key and his private key and what i am saying is that uh, so previously if you look here for encryption what i was doing was i was using the public key a was using the public key of b to encrypt it uh, get a cipher text and b was using his private key to decrypt it i hope everybody is okay with this public key was used for encryption and private key was used for de decryption now in digital signing what i am doing is uh, if i am sending a message i am saying that there is a digital signature at, uh, that is generated for this message along with this message i am generating that message i am signing or generating this digital signature through my private key and b can use my public key to verify whether this has been sent by me or not so private key does uh, um, uh, implements an encryption algorithm or let's not say encryption a, a signing algorithm on uh, the message which uh, converts it into the message plus a, a signature along with it now when b receives this message along with the signature he can then uh, use public key of a to verify whether this message has been sent by a or not now mind it in this case the encryption has not happened so the message is still exposed so this example just talks about the digital signing aspect of it so anybody who got confused in the sense that uh, once you are saying that you are using the public key for encryption and then you are using private key for decryption and once you uh, uh, but there is also a concept of private key being used and then the public key also being used this is the difference the signing aspect says that if i have to encrypt it i am using uh, the recipient's public key and uh, he can decrypt it with his private key but if i have to send him the message so that he can actually verify uh, the uh, uh, the message in itself i am going to sign it with my private key and he will be able to verify it through the public key the jargons here are important and it is very easily confusable <clears throat> any doubt here any anybody sitting or uh, listening out there has any specific doubts of, of for this a digital signing and asymmetric or symmetric uh muzaffar is asking uh, can you again explain asymmetric so he is still not here on asymmetric cryptography okay yeah no that's and, understandable it's, it's and actually reason. just to just to let you know this video has already crossed 100 views and at least uh, you know 10 likes are already there so we are just in the middle of this video wow i appreciate you guys i mean uh, yeah. just this for that i'll explain yeah. asymmetric uh, cryptography <laughs> go for it thanks yeah. for man uh, uh, a pleasure let me get back and people have patience i will be address everything uh, for people who are sitting uh, don't leave this will be a refresher for you because you need to get, get this concept nailed down in your head so that even in your sleep if somebody asks you the difference between symmetric asymmetric public private digital signature from now on without even referring to a text you are able to answer them so what we are saying in asymmetric is that there are two parties a and b you have uh, a holds a private key and a public key uh, b holds his, uh, a public key and a private key now public the concept of public key that is uh, it is available for everybody so now a gets a hold on i a wants to send a message to b so what a will do is a will take the public key of b he will encrypt the text using uh, a's public key but this text will only be decryptable by B, b's private key the pri corresponding private key so through encrypt asymmetric cryptography cryptographic algorithms it is true that you can generate uh, uh, keys you can generate uh, the keys that are 
uh, the, the, the key pair of a public and a private key. The public key will be used to encrypt the text uh, which A wants to send to B and the private key will be used by B to decrypt the text. Uh, does that make sense? Is that clearer? Akshay, uh, I think give a live example, you know, sending a, maybe an email or something which, you know, from point A to point B so that people may, may be able to relate it better. Just for an understanding uh, point of view. Okay, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, as simple as that. If I'm sending an email, I can use uh, GPG is used to uh, encrypt emails. So I can use a GPG as an algorithm or uh, a software that uses encrypts emails using GPG mechanism. Uh, uh, what I can do is I, I will typically uh, at the end point, the, in, the, the encryption uh, software is sitting and when the email leaves, what they are using is they are using the public key of the recipient and they are encrypting the email message. So when it goes in the transit and somebody is in the man in the middle scenario or attack and when he tries to sniff, he will not be able to read the contents. And when somebody receives it at the, re so there will be a client, GPG client listening. So the GPG client now knows that he has used my public key to encrypt it. And now I have the private key, which is specific to B and he will use that private key to decrypt it. And when the pop-up comes in front of in the email chat or email client uh, of, of the user, they will be able to view the email. So this kind of encryption happens even with the softwares, the email clients that you use. This level of uh, uh, encryption happens in the background. Okay. I have a question from Vinod Bhamre. He's asking uh, asymmetric key uses public key to encrypt, private key to decrypt or private key to encrypt public key to decrypt so we are sending data using private key he's asking no so we are asymmetric uses public key for encryption and the corresponding private key is used for decryption what we are using private key is so if there are two differentiators one case there is a public key and then a private key one case there is a private key and then a public key and even which private key and which public key is being used so in, in that's the important point to understand here. In asymmetric, the recipient's public key is being used for encryption and the recipient's private key is being used for decryption. In digital signature, the recipient the, the sender's private key is used being used for signing, and the sender's public key is being used for verification. It's, it's different from the encryption like uh, you see here the encryption part has not yet happened this is digital signing in an unencrypted environment i am going to cover even digital signing for people who are now jumping and thinking oh so then what happens in digital signing of an encrypted channel don't worry uh, the very next slide is digital signing on an encrypted platform but before i move forward i want to make sure that people have understood this concept what is it's going to build up on this and after uh, you know a couple of slides it should not happen that a person is now asking us to go back to the very uh, basics of it so i'll take a pause like a 30 second break and people if want to and, and please just talk about symmetric asymmetric digital signing whatever we have uh, discussed till now muzaffar, Mu yeah muzaffar is happy now he's saying all the doubts are cleared and uh, you know i think people are getting the idea now Akshay. So, uh, yeah, we are on track, man. Yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, we've discussed about, uh, so, uh, uh, Mr. Vinod, I hope his doubt is cleared. Uh, if he wants me to explain digital signing again, I'll be more than happy to, because we are going to soon go into encrypted digital signing as well. Uh, Vinod is not responding maybe, but, uh, I can't see his comment yet popping up. Uh, I think we should go ahead. Akshay. Okay. So we've discussed about digital signing in unencrypted. I'm, I'm just repeating it quickly again. What we are saying is that I am using my uh, as an as a as a I am using my private key to sign this message and converted this into a, a, a digitally signed message. And when this message receives at uh, this message, mind it is not encrypted yet. And when B receives this digitally signed uh, message, uh, they can use the public my public key as A's public key to verify whether this message is in fact the message that was sent from A. Uh, we know this clear now. He's happy. He's uh, putting a smiley face. Wow. Great. 
Uh, uh, Shivkant, we we can see you here. You are uh, you know you are a part of the video. Happy for your questions, but we will take a set of questions after the slides are completed. So you know I am giving time to Akshay to complete his slides. Okay, folks. So bear now, with me now. Uh, Akshay, yeah. Muzaffar yes. has a follow-up question now. He is asking who will generate these public and private keys, or should we purchase them from somewhere? No, no, yeah, yeah. So, have, so no, no, no. So you have encryption solution. So, like I said, you there is a standard GPG. So the email clients there are open source and paid versions of implementations of these asymmetric and symmetric algorithms so you can ah. use there are key generators these are called as key generator so what you are saying is for ssh you will have a key generator uh, a software who will generate keys when you have a ssh server when you have a ssh client so these are the softwares the, the applications or uh, these they will be responsible for doing it for you you just have to choose the right application, the right algorithm, which is fit for your organization. So but you don't absolutely. have to purchase it is your, yourself. Yeah. The software takes care of it. You need to make sure which el which encryption algorithm you need to enable, which is the right yeah. fit for you. Yeah. Right, right. So you should be clear on all these concepts that Akshay is explaining here. Yeah, go for it, Akshay. Yeah. In fact, that's a really good question because now I am feeling after listening to this question, a lot of people might have this uh, doubt that, you know, this key, very hypothetically, you're talking about this, but is this, how, how do I get this key? So, uh, and Muzaffar, the key is nothing. It's a stream of characters. I mean, the key in itself is in clear text. It starts with beginning of PGP key, beginning of GPU G key. It will have some uh, streams attached to it and it will have an end to it. If I get a chance, so I, I did not plan for it. Uh, I could have Googled uh, or I could have generated some key at, at my end. Maybe at, at our next session. Oh, great. I think love, this is a great idea. Maybe we can have a practical session and we can actually show the generation of public and private keys and how the communication is happening maybe between a, a two, two different clients. Like yeah, Muzaffar is happy now. He is giving five big thumbs up. Okay, I think actually we can go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so bear with me, folks. This is going to get a little heavier now. So we discussed about digital signing on. So remember, don't get, don't be afraid by this diagram in itself, uh, and don't judge me on the quality. Again, for the new people who are here, I'm very poor at uh, this. Has been created in MS Paint. So what I'm saying here is, you already understand what the crypto public and private key you already know how digital signing is done now i am just going to combine the encryption and the signing part of it okay so it's nothing new i am just combining those two concepts and what i am showing to you in an, in an encrypted environment how do you actually use digital signatures as well so just to say it again, there is a person A, there is a person B, A has his private and a public key, B has his private and a public key. Uh, now, I what I am doing is I am first signing it. So remember the concept of digital signature, I am using the A is using his private key to sign the message. Now as an output, what he gets is signed message or a digital certificate. After this, I now I encrypt this with uh, the public key of B. Again, talking about asymmetric. If you forget the signing part of it, we already know that encryption was happening using the public key and the decryption will happen using the uh, private key. So we signed using the private key of A. Then we encrypted using the private key of, sorry, the public key of B. Now this cipher text along with the digital uh, signature is sent across to B. Now B receives this, this whole chunk of block of information. Thus, so the step one was signing. Step two was encryption. Now step three is since I have received an encrypted uh, text or a message, a, a cipher text. The first thing I will do is I will decrypt it. How will I decrypt it? Since the encryption happened with my, uh, sorry, I, I keep saying I, I meant B. So how the how B will do it? Uh, B will decrypt it. Since the encryption happened using B's public key, the decryption will happen using B's private key as we learned before. Now after decryption, which is step three, I get the uh, text along with uh, the digital signature. Now I need to apply the verification process, which is step four. How this is done using the public key of A. 
so in unencrypted we saw that within a public and private key were being used if you look at the same thing the step 1 and 4 are exactly the same the step 1 is the signing and the step 4 is the verification if you look at the asymmetric here public key was used for encryption private key was used for decryption and if you look here the step 2 and the step 3 are the same and what we did was we combined it step 1 digital signing step 2 encryption step 3 decryption and step 4 verification yeah so this is pretty much uh, the digital signing in an encrypted environment uh, i hope this was a little clear if somebody has any doubt here please this is the time to ask before we move forward and you know kind of get into a zone where we're not able to come back to this Yeah, should we should I move forward? Yeah, I think go ahead, Akshay. 